whatever decision any politician makes, they will live with the consequences. Okay? And the consequences are that I don't know what those people saw. Maybe they saw something and they were trying to make a point. If that is the case, so be it. Nobody will be taken to court for voting or not voting for, for, you know, for any party. But the politicians have taken their decision and it's left for them to deal with the consequences. Nobody is going to force you as a Christian to vote one way or the other. It, and as I said, I'm moving away from this idea, this binary view of Christians and Muslims. That's not who we are as Nigerians. That's not what happens in the marketplace. That's not what happens across this country. There are no Christian roads. There are no Christian thieves or Muslim saints. Okay, we, 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 for me, I don't see why any Christian, I'm sorry to say, should be worried about the choice that a political party has made. Um, if you think the best thing is for you to look for a Christian party, with, and none of such things exist, then you take that decision. So, I mean, if I put up a signboard that I've just opened a new restaurant, and everybody who comes into this restaurant must have a beard, I don't have a beard, so I won't enter your restaurant. It's not by force. So I really don't think that anybody should be flogging this issue uh, about Christians. Christians will decide whether as Christians or whether as uh, ethnic groups or communities, they have to decide. And the point I'm making is hold a mirror to yourself and ask yourself, which of these people do I believe I can entrust my future to? That's what it comes down to.